Hey, what's going on guys? Reseller Tom here. Today we're going to be talking about listing, a listing goal, setting up that listing strategy goal and how to list more items. We're talking about the clothing category. That's what I am doing right now. And I'm going to be sharing with you, like, especially when you're starting off, how to really launch the clothing business and how to list more. Because obviously the more you list, the more you're going to make, the more potential buyers you will have. And it does come down to, you know, your selection, the quality, like I go for mall brand clothing. So pretty much things that you're going to find at Goodwill, I specifically just go to the bins just because they, they do it by weight. And if you're really smart in the beginning, really what you want to do is try to get the highest end mall brand, um, like brands that you can find. And I'm not really someone that like waits for a bin to come out. I'll just kind of go to the bottom of bins or where like everyone kind of left. Cause sometimes you'll find some really good stuff there. Like, you know, just bread and butter stuff like Adidas, Nike, just like mall brand things like Madewell. You'll find uh, like, like Hurley, uh, just all of those different mall brand clothing, like Forever 21. Uh, I pick up a lot of these things, especially, especially when I'm like launching and I just want to get more listings up. What I'll do is just get really light clothes and you can find the stuff and it'll probably cost you like a dollar per piece, maybe even less. I shop at the Goodwill bins in Los Angeles and it's like two eighty nine dollars per pound. So what I really try to do is if I get something heavy, I'll try to get like a bunch of really light stuff to kind of outweigh the cost. And that's what I, that's kind of how I function and like my thought process. I don't really care if it's going to sell in like a day, but what I really want to do is like, I want to pick things that I know for sure will eventually sell and then outweigh the cost to try to get my total cost of goods way down. Uh, and so that's kind of my strategy. I'll pick up like really light leggings, like Nike running shorts, just really light stuff like um, like Talbot tops. I'll try to get like just like really um, good shirts like Star Wars shirts or like Disney shirts or like Harry Potter shirts, NFL, any type of NFL shirt, Nike, Reebok, uh, Puma shirts, just like really light stuff, like I said, to outweigh the cost of anything heavier that I get if I get jackets or hoodies or anything like that. And uh, this is really good because if you don't have a huge budget, you can still get away with like a, a listing goal. So whether it's five a day, 10 a day, 30 a day, 50 a day, what you wanna do is stay consistent and do something every single day, even if it's just five. And if you don't have a huge budget in the beginning, you might like feel discouraged with the consistent listing goal, just because like you may not be able to afford constantly getting your listing goal every single day. So my goal is obviously the Goodwill bins, I'll get light stuff. Maybe your intention uh, for the first month is to only focus on first class items, really light items. I mean, there's things in there that are that weigh like a feather, especially in like the, the women's category. You can find some really, really light stuff. So maybe for your first uh, one to, to three months, you're just focusing on really light stuff that you, uh, and then obviously you want to look at like what's sold, make sure that it's actually selling within the last 90 days, just bread and butter items. And you don't have to price them that high because you're kind of getting them pretty much for a dollar or less. And so that's kind of my strategy with getting my listing goal. Uh, I started off when I launched the business, I was like, I want to get a thousand listings. So I was doing 30 a day. And then, you know, now I'm kind of going a little bit lower because I'm just getting heavier stuff in the store because it's winter. So I'm focusing on just heavier items and like, you know, purchasing 30 heavy coats uh, per like per bin session will be costly. So I try to outweigh that with the lighter stuff as well when I'm listing. So hopefully this helped you. When you're launching, I do recommend just to go as light as possible. When you're at the Goodwill bins, try to go for really light stuff. If you're just shopping, I don't even really recommend shopping at Goodwill stores. They're just overinflated. So if you have a bins, you know, even if it's an hour, two hours away, just go fill it up, like try to get a hundred light items. And then that'll last you for, you know, a week or two weeks. And then in the beginning, you don't have to list like 30 to 50 a day. Just, you know, shoot a consistent goal five a day, 10 a day. What I did personally was I just, you know, I went straight into like 20 to 30 per day. And now I'm kind of winding down just because, like I said, I'm getting heavier stuff, but I'm, tr I'm also trying to put in some lighter things. So anytime I go to the bins, when I'm going, my strategy is to get like coats and hoodies, jackets. I'll always 
pick some lighter things just to offset that. So hopefully this helped you. We'll see you guys in the next one. This is Reseller Tom. Consider subscribing and like this video if you got value. It's going to motivate me to bring you guys more content like this. Leave a comment down below with your listing strategy and how you approach this type of thought process. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.